your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Four people were killed when a gunman opened fire at a medical building just before 5 p.m. yesterday in Tulsa, Oklahoma. According to the Gun Violence Archive, that marks the 20th mass shooting in the U.S. since last week's deadly school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. A local criminal justice professor tells Western Mass News clusters of shootings typically happen after a big event, like in Uvalde, because people with those types of feelings see someone else do it and get attention. Friends of the victim in this past weekend shooting at the Saga nightclub in Springfield are calling for police and club owners to take action. Authorities say 30-year-old David Carrasquillo was shot to death inside a bathroom at the club. A friend of the local rapper says police and nightclubs should have more accountability to prevent situations like Sunday shooting from happening. And UMass Amherst Chancellor Kumbul Subhaswamy has announced his plans to retire at the end of June 2023. Subhaswamy arrived in Amherst in July of 2012, and the university says the campus has excelled in a wide range of key areas during his tenure. UMass says first-year undergrad applications have increased by 30% over the past decade, and graduation rates have steadily increased. I'm First Alert Meteorologist on Maher. After a dry day today, our shower chances are going to be increasing as we head on into the evening hours as our next area of low pressure begins to move on in. Can't even rule out a rumble of thunder as well. And these showers will also linger into the first part of Friday. So I do expect Friday morning's commute to be a damp one with some showers continuing to move through the region. The good news is the showers are not going to last all day. As we head towards lunchtime, the showers will begin to move on out and we'll start to see some sunshine beginning to move on in as high pressure builds in. Now there may be a shower as we head through a later tomorrow afternoon, but they will be isolated in nature. Not everyone will see a shower tomorrow afternoon. And after that, a gorgeous weekend is headed our way as we dry things out very nicely for both Saturday and Sunday. A bit breezy on Saturday, upper 70s on Saturday, lower 70s on Sunday. The dry weather continues into Monday before the shower chances return for both Tuesday and Thursday. But temperatures in the 70s to around 80. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.